All right. Well, here is another testimony from uh, some of the ones that have come in just recently. I wanted to give you a quick update on myself. Recently, I had my three-month A1C check. It went from 11.4 all the way down to 6.0. Now, we're talking a five-point drop in three months. I couldn't believe it, they said, when I got the results. Now, truth be told, my doctor does have me on insulin and Ozempic. So they're on meds, they're on insulin. But I still believe there would have been no way I could have lowered it that much without the knowledge you share. Well, yeah, they needed to know about low carb. And uh, yeah, you can, you can lose a lot of uh, A1C points, especially when you're still on insulin. Now, eventually you would want to get off it if you're not a type 1. If you're a type 2 and your pancreas is still working, you, you want to get off it. But take your time and, and just do it you know, with your doctor's help and with your doctor's advice and with your doctor's encouragement. But there, there, uh, he, this person says, you're changing people's lives. I appreciate you so much. My doctor said at this rate, I would not be on insulin for long at all. Repeat, my doctor said at this rate, I'm not going to be on insulin very much longer. Well, isn't that a wonderful thing to hear from your doctor? The way you're going, you won't be on insulin much longer. Again, thank you for everything. And uh, I like what they said uh, or how they said it when they told how their A1C went from 11.4 to 6.0. They said that and then they put three exclamation points. In other words, I'm excited about it. I like this. Well, I do too. And it is exciting. It's, it's amazing. When we were young, we didn't know anything about A1Cs and we never even thought about these things. No one ever talked to us about low carb or keto or anything like that. We just blissfully went on our way eating junk and poison. But now that we've gotten older and we faced blood sugar struggles, we have found some secrets and we begin to understand the importance of, a, of an A1C that's been lowered and ultimately lowered to the point where we can get off the meds, if at all possible, if our pancreas is still working. And uh, we love it. And to us, it's, it's a win. It's big. It's really big. Here's another testimony. I've been doing all these things for six months, speaking of the, the guidelines to the challenges that I promote, which would be two meals a day, and you eat a carnivore meal on Monday, or car have a carnivore day of Monday, and you have bulletproof coffee or no breakfast at all, and then you have two meals. So I've been doing all these things for six months. I lowered my A1C from 13 to 5.7, another ridiculous, amazing drop of an A1C. Six months, 13, which is terrible, which is horrible, which is dangerous. That's the kind of A1C you have when you start losing toes, when you start feeling all kinds of neuropathy pains, when your vision starts to get blurry, when your kidneys start to fail, that's the kind of A1C that does those things. Now, it can happen at a much lower level than that. But when you've got 13, almost surely that's beginning to happen if it hasn't happened in a big way. 13, terrible, to a 5.7, which is quite nice, especially for someone that's crossed the line of diabetes. 13 to 5.7. I mean, we're talking uh, about seven points plus in six months time. I lost 35 pounds and I feel great. Wow. Don't you just love it? And the thing I try to point out so often is if these can, people can do it, why couldn't you? Are these people so strange? Do they have some weird DNA or some kind of a weird gene that makes it easy for them, but you don't have that gene, so it's not easy for you? Again, if you're type 1 and your pancreas has totally failed, then of course you'll need to take insulin. But even then, you can still do low carb and not take too much insulin. But if you've got a pancreas that's working at all, and there's a lot of evidence these days that many pancreases that barely work will start to work much better as you lose your liver fat and your pancreas fat and as you start reversing your insulin resistance. And that happens when you do some intermittent fasting and uh, strongly low-carb eating. 
What an amazing thing that would be to have a pancreas that barely works. And now it's working quite well. Or even if it never gets to full efficiency and, and uh, full normal pancreas production, if it can just improve significantly to where you can get through life by eating low carb. And uh, so what if you don't eat potatoes? So what if you don't eat rice anymore? There's a lot bigger things in this world and in your life than whether or not you have the freedom to eat potatoes and rice. And certainly nobody ought to be eating candy bars. So he says, I've lost 35 pounds. I feel great. 13 to 5.7. And you know, when I read these testimonies and they're just coming in all the time, any of these testimonies would amaze most doctors, most health professionals. You see a patient at, at one point, he's got a 13. You, you try with everything you've got to tell him how dangerous he is. And your hope is that he can maybe bring it down a couple of points. If he works real hard, maybe he can bring it down from a 13 to 11. And then you see him again in six months. You take out the chart to, to refresh your memory on exactly what his situation he says. Uh, an A1C of 13. You think, well, I wonder if he's been able to at least bring it down to 11 or maybe 12. Hopefully he's improved. And then he's got a 5.7. 5 5.7 5 from 13 in six months time. <laughs> What would be the thing you would say, the normal person, if you're not so professionally biased, the normal person would say, what in the world have you been doing? Well, I want to share one more uh, testimony that's come in recently. This person says, you're a gift to all of us struggling with this illness. Well, thank you for that. God bless you for all you're doing to raise awareness. My A1C dropped from 8.9 to 5.4 in 90 days. So we're talking about a three-point drop. And he said, I retested at 60 days. It was 5.5. My doctor, now this is the thing that amazes me. He says, my doctor was not surprised when I told him what I was doing. In other words, hey, I've been doing a keto diet and uh, low carb eating and probably some intermittent fasting. He says, my doctor wasn't surprised. Now that's unusual. Usually they are surprised. Usually they're shocked. This one says, uh, this guy says, my doctor wasn't surprised. Funny thing is he never mentioned keto as a possible solution. Instead, he put me on metformin, which didn't work. My blood work has all come back vastly improved as well as lowering my blood pressure all in normal ranges and no more metformin. Yay. <laughs> so this guy is excited. But the thing out of all that, I, it doesn't surprise me anymore when I hear these testimonies. I hear them so much, so often, daily, weekly, just constantly, that I, I, I'm not going to tell you I'm shocked, but I'm very pleased and gratified. But the thing that's kind of uh, amazing and surprising to me is the doctor wasn't surprised when he told him what he was doing. He's like, I'm doing keto. Oh, okay. Well, now I understand. But he says wisely, this man says, but my doctor never mentioned that. So if you've got a doctor who's not surprised when you achieve amazing results with a keto diet, and the doctor's not surprised, in other words, he knew all along that that could do it, but he never mentioned it to you. That seems to be rather problematic, wouldn't you say? <laughs> wouldn't you think it's strange if you had a remedy that could bring you down from like 9 or 10 or 11 A1C into the fives and you don't say a word about it? And then when they come back and they've seen amazing victory and the doctor says, well, what happened? And you say, well, I went on a keto diet. And the doctor goes, okay, well, now I understand. So he's not surprised. But the question is, why didn't he say a word about it? Uh, I have some guesses about that, but I don't know for sure. But it seems to me if I had a remedy that could bring you down that much in such a short time and take you from dangerously high to beautifully moderate blood sugar levels and corresponding uh, lesser insulin as well, if I knew the answer, which I do, by the way, if I was a doctor and knew the answer, you can bet I'd be talking to you about it. I'd be talking to my patients about it. It's, it seems almost criminal, but maybe that doctor has a reason I can't figure out. But uh, he apparently knew keto could do the job, but he never even mentioned it. 
If you've recently been diagnosed with diabetes and you've just discovered this channel, let me recommend that you go to our uploads page, which will give you access to every diabetic video we've posted since we began. As you work your way through all our videos, I believe you'll find the help you need. A link to our uploads page is in the description.